Did you know that you can share and link your Google Docs with Google Keep and vice versa? Well, you can, and the good thing is you don't need the paid Google Workspace to do this. It also works if you've got a free Google account. So the first way I'm gonna show you is when you want to copy the note from Google Keep to a new blank document. So from your main Google Keep page, which you can access by going to keep.google.com. Now, instead of trying to copy and paste this text and then paste it into a document, click on the three dots in the bottom right corner of whichever note or list that you want to copy and go to copy to Google Docs. Click on there and you can see the notification in the bottom left corner here is copying to Google Docs and you can quickly open the document straight away by clicking open doc here. And you can see, so this is the list here that we copied and it's copied it into a new Google Doc. So it's taken the title of the actual note itself is, is also the title of the document up here. So if you wanted to overwrite this, just highlight and then type in something else for the actual name of the document. One thing you'll notice is that it keeps the structure of the actual keep note or the list, but the check boxes are now replaced with bullet points instead. So to easily change these back to checkboxes, just highlight the text in the list in Google Docs. And then you can click on the checklist button up here on the toolbar, click on there, or you can use keyboard shortcut Control Shift and nine, and it will change the list to a checkbox. One thing to point out is that when you copy the, to Google Docs this way, it's just copying a, a note at that particular time of copying. It's not syncing. So any updates that you make to the note after you've copied it to Google Docs won't transfer across unless you specifically go back into the note and make another copy by clicking on the dots and going to copy to Google Docs again. Now, moving on to the second way, and this is if you've already got a Google Doc already open and you want to copy your Keep Notes over to it. Open Google Keep in the sidebar over on the right hand side here by clicking on this yellow square with the white light bulb icon in it. Then it's as easy as clicking and dragging whichever note or list that you want to copy. Click and drag over into the document. Another way you could do this is to hover over the note or list that you want to copy. Click on the three dots that appear in the top right corner and click on add to document. Now this will paste the note wherever the cursor is positioned in your document. Again, you can see that the list is formatted as bullet points rather than checkboxes when you copy it over. Again, it's as easy as highlighting the list here in Google Docs, going up to checklist in the um, toolbar at the top here and click on there to change it to checkboxes or you can just use keyboard shortcut, control shift and nine, and it will do the same thing. The final way I want to show you is if you've got some text that you want to copy from the document itself into your Google Keep. So you just simply highlight the text that you want to copy, right click and go to save to keep. Now this will automatically open up the Google Keep in your sidebar on the right hand side here. And you can see this is the text that I've just um, pasted, that I've just copied from the Google Doc. It keeps the same structure as it is in the Google Doc. You can see that the text here, I'm gonna cut and paste this as the actual title. You'll see a section at the top called Related, and this is because the note is relating to the document here that you're currently working in. You'll also, when you open the, the note or the list up, you'll also see at the bottom of the note, there is a link which links to the actual document itself, which is really handy. And this isn't just for text, it also works for images. So if you've got an image in a Google Doc, right click on the image, go down to view more actions, and then click save to keep. And it does the same thing. It will open up the note in your Google Keep on the sidebar here. And you can see the image is here for you to start adding notes to it if you wanted to. It's in the section called related because the Google Doc is actually open that it's relating to. And again, it will also include a link to the Google Doc that the image relates to. One thing to point out is that when you start a new note or a new list from your Google Keep in the sidebar here, and you're currently working in a Google Doc, then Keep will automatically include a link to that document in the note. If you don't want a link to be included, just click on the cross that appears on the right hand side of the link here and it will remove the source. So there you have a few quick ways of working with Google Keep and Docs in tandem to hopefully save you a bit of time when it comes to taking notes and jotting down ideas and so on. 
I have a couple of videos here giving you a few formatting tips in Google Docs and also a guide to Google Keep if you're new to using it. Let me know in the comments if you're going to start using Keep alongside your Docs or if you do already. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.